keyboard shortcuts are essential to working quickly and efficiently inside of Photoshop. Today, I'm going to show you five of my favorite keyboard shortcuts that you're able to use every day. This is going to boost your productivity and make it easy for you to do things that would be difficult to do otherwise. Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com, the very best place to learn Photoshop and Lightroom. So anyway, today we're going to jump straight in and we're going to show you five of my favorite keyboard shortcuts. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this illustration that I created of the camera. Those of you who have been following me for a while will know that in the year 2001, I won first place for the Guru Awards at Photoshop World for illustration using this particular image. So this is an illustration that I created 100% in Photoshop. I didn't use Illustrator. I didn't use any 3D or photos or anything like that. This was created entirely from scratch inside of Photoshop. And so you can see because of that, we've got a lot of different layers. So the first tip I'm going to show you is how to quickly select something. So what you want to do is have the Move tool selected, which is the V key. And then say I wanted to work on this section here, I would hit the control or the command key and click. And this enables you to select individual layers and work on those. So if we wanted to grab maybe this part, you can see how we can do that. Second keyboard shortcut is screen modes. I like to use the F key. Right now we're in the regular mode. If I hit the F once, it takes us into presentation mode. Well, what's so good about this? Well, a couple of things. If I hit the space bar, now I can move my canvas around and this enables me to uh, view things like that. So sometimes I wanna move my canvas over here and maybe have more panels and I can work that way. Hit the F key again, you go into full screen mode. Control zero will fill up the screen. Control one or command one will take you to 100%. Hit the F key once again to go back. I'll give you a bonus keyboard shortcut here. The tab key will hide all your panels and bring them back. So it makes it easy for you to work. Tip number three, showing and hiding different layers. Hold on a sec. You can just hit the eye icon, right? To turn on and off layers. Yes, that's true. So what if you wanna hide all the layers except for the one you're working on? That's not that difficult, right? But what if you wanna turn all the other layers back on and preserve the uh, ones that are hidden and shown. If I turn off this particular layer here and I'm hiding this layer and now I'm working on this top layer here and I want to view this by itself, I could click and show hide all other layers, right? And then we can see, okay, there's that layer I was working on. And then we can right click again and show hide all layers once again. But notice what happens when we do that, this layer stays on. So what if we want to keep this one off and go back to the order? Because a lot of the time, you know, I might be working with layers and I could have five or 10 layers turned on and off and I want it to remember that, uh, that's those states of those layers. Okay, so once again, this is the layer here we want to show and hide. This time, hold down Alt or Option, click the eye icon and it hides all the other layers. Now to bring them back, hold down the Alt, and that would be Option on Mac, and click on that eye once again, and it brings back all the layers, and look at that, that one there was remembered. Okay, tip number four. I like to work in a composite layer. What does that mean? Well, say for example, I've got an illustration here and I've got tons of layers, and I wanna do something to them, so I wanna kind of merge them to work together but I still want to be able to get into them. Yeah, yeah, I could use a smart object and check out my tutorial I did last week. I'll give you a link underneath on smart objects. Let me show you how to create a composite layer. So I'm going to select all the layers that do this camera. I'm going to start at the very top and I know these are in layer sets, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to go all the way down to here. Holding the shift key is going to select every single layer in between. Now what I want to do is dump all of these onto their own layer on the top. So if I hold down Shift, Control, Option, then hit the E key, what happens is at the very top now, I have created a merged version of it. So sometimes this could be useful if I want to create some kind of an effect, like maybe I want to do some kind of an Orton effect on here. I'm just going to do a blur. Throw it into overlay mode. And drop the opacity all the way down and just give it a kind of a look like that. 
But there's a lot of different ways of using that composite layer. Now you know how to use it, you're gonna find you use it a lot. All right, here's a big one I use a lot, and that's free transform. There's a little bit more to free transform than meets the eye, let's have a look. All right, so let me just go here and I'm gonna select the lens layer. Notice I've got all these links so I can move these together. My little mark is here and not because those are on separate layers. And what I wanna do is transform this. So I'm gonna hit Control T or Command T, and that brings up the free transform dialog box. Now, if I hold down the shift key and I drag this, I can scale this up and down. Uh, let me just hit control Z, go back. If I want to make it longer from the middle, if I hold the alt or the option key, notice I can drag it out both ways or like that. If I don't hold the alt or option, it just moves this way. So if I wanted to make more of a pancake lens, I could do that. Move it into position. Then if we right click, we've got all these distortion menus available that we could do all kinds of different things to it. So if I want to flip it vertical, notice our lights now coming from the other direction. So I have a question for you. What's your favorite keyboard shortcut? Drop it in the comments underneath. In fact, if we all drop our favorite keyboard shortcuts in there, we can start to build a useful resource in the comments of a bunch of really cool Photoshop keyboard shortcuts. In fact, maybe I'll take some of the best ones, either do a tutorial and give you guys a shout out for whoever did it, or maybe I'll just put them on Photoshop Cafe. We'll see what happens depending on what kind of comments we get underneath. So anyway, if you enjoy these kind of tutorials, don't forget to check out my other tutorials at Photoshop Cafe because I use keyboard shortcuts a lot in my tutorials. And if you liked this tutorial, don't forget to smash that like button into dust. And if you want more like this, hit the subscribe button because every single Tuesday and sometimes on Saturdays as well, I do a new uh, tutorial on Photoshop Lightroom and also some gadget reviews and things. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Until the next time, I'll see you at the cafe. Mm -hmm.